thank God, thank God. Okay, and, yeah, the reason I was counting was, you can be seated, you can count was, and he was talk about the snow and the blessings of the snow. But in Hebrew, in order for them to conduct any service they have to have what is called a minion. M-I-N-Y-A-N, minion. Which means there has to be at least 10 people. 10 people. Okay, oh yeah, there's 10 adults. And so if we were Jewish, we qualified. And, and so I was studying the blessings of the snow. And in Hebrew, on a day like today, which is nothing compared to living in Montreal. This is every day in Montreal. This is absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, that's just they function. They even have people riding bikes and stuff like this. Like railroad bicycles. They have a bicycle trail. With a certain kind of tires on in the snow. Right. They had they didn't have no parking downtown anyway. And what little parking they had in Montreal, which is it's like this like seven months out here. They put a bike trail because people ride their bikes in weather just like it is right now. Okay. Something I mean, I used to love, because I was on 18th floor, I used to love going to my place and just overlooking and seeing the St. Lawrence River frozen over in the snow. Just I mean, just literally, I would have picnics on the 18th floor. Yeah. And make me a sandwich and look out the window. Because I got this big <laughs> picture with them, man. Man, I love nature. Okay. So this is my show, this is nothing. But there's a blessing. So in the Jewish, the Hebrew, the first ten people consider themselves blessed, mm -hmm. so that they can come and praise God. Amen. Okay. And so when I was studying it, I showed some scriptures. I thought about what are your data collection uh, questions. You should ask a man or woman, how do you feel about the snow? There are lessons you can learn about the snow and a person's attitude about the snow. First of all, the scripture said, God, the snow, God said, I put the snow on the earth. Now, watch it now. So if you just looked it up, the snow is the moisture that the ground is accumulating for your seed. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about the lessons you learn from the so the moisture. This is the moisture that is accumulating. So if you got seed in the ground, let it snow. Yeah. If you just looked at the snow like money, you'd be happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's about to accumulate. Now watch this now. Yeah. Another lesson, we went to the scriptures. Another lesson you learn from the snow is there is no snow emergency with one snowflake. Right. The reason why they cancel school, some churches just might well say cancel, they don't, they, you know, is, is the accumulation because in order for the snow to have significant, it has to bond. So the, all you're looking at is massive bonding of the snowflakes, okay? So this is what bonding can do. A bonding with the right person, you will have accumulation. All right. Okay? Bond, that, that's all you see right now is bonding. One snowflake, there's no emergency. Just melt whatever. But look at all the bonding that's taking place in the Midwest. Okay? Mm -hmm. Another lesson from the snow is how is that individual going to respond if you ever get stuck? Somewhere in your life you're going to get stuck. Okay? So if you've been stuck before in the snow, you sitting in your car complaining does not get you out. No. You have to have a strategy. What are we going to do when we get stuck? All right. Somebody has to come out. Now, one thing is you can rock. You have to find a dry spot. We got to find a common ground that's dry where we can stand on that and rock, amen, until we get ourselves out of this situation. All right. All right? All right. That's a lesson. You got to rock. Somebody got to sit there and rock and rock, you know. Somebody has to have some salt. Right. Salt of the earth. Somebody has to have a word. Because somewhere you're going to get stuck. You can get stuck in a relationship. You can get stuck in a job. You can get stuck in your emotions. Everyone in here has been stuck before. Right. Amen. And, and thank God if you can rock your way out, whatever you did, salt got you out. Or sometimes you had to have, in a worst case, somebody had to pull you out. 
and the th you, something bigger than you had to pull you out. Right. Okay? Amen. So think about it. all these lessons you can learn from the snow. And here's his life, share with one of my daughters. Children, that's why you want to marry somebody who's childlike. Because children look at the snow different. Why? Children, we look at it as, and we complaining, you know, we got a shovel, whatever. And I saw my daughter who was shoveling snow by herself. I said, this is the last time she's going to be shoveling by herself. You ain't got no husband. You got to shovel that driveway by yourself. Huh? Or if somebody does somebody, they might want a little extra. We ain't talking about money, you know what I mean? It just can't be. But with a husband, you're not stuck. Okay? So, 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 but children look at, and I think about Ariel Stephan, she's a type that would go outside and have a snowball fight in the snow. Out there, to, children look at the snow as an opportunity to go out and create. Yep. What can we make? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you don't want to marry someone who has an adult-like response to a normal season. So you imagine like they're gonna complain all winter? <laughs> That's because you're gonna be real miserable. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or, or or it's a time to complain. This, that, whatever. No, no, not children. Children want to go out there and see what we can create with the accumulation that we have. So you always look for a child, not an immature person, but a childlike spirit. You can't tell me. Uh, you get somebody who will walk in the snow, hold hand, have a snow by fight, build a snowman. Man, you good when the, when the snow melts? Y'all good. Because yeah. winter is the harshest of the... Man, when the snow melts, maybe spring, whatever. But man, if you got somebody who can make it through winter time yeah. without murmuring and complaining, all right? You're on to something. That's a data collection, which I know you're not going to do this much. You're cute, you forget. But if you remember, how do you... What do you think about the seasons? Ah, oh, what kind of question is that? I'm good. You got somebody who will sit in the car and complain because you stuck. Wow. Well, aren't you going to get out? Are we going to rock? No. Man, cut, cut. you can sit in your car and cuss. That don't, that don't melt the snow. You can complain that it doesn't melt the snow. All right? So there's certain lessons. I'm sure what the Bible says. So, you know, the news came on, and man, here the place come, they talking about between now and whatever, another six, eight, I don't care if it's 20 inches. Here's my whole tale, talking about me personally. I am too blessed. Look, what I look like staying home. I'm too blessed. If they have to sit there, it, it have to be 20, it have to be so, even if it's 20, I got people to come by and do my driveway. Right. So when I come, man, what I look like? I'm just talking about me. I'm too blessed. My garage is heated. I can go wash my car when I get home. Uh, I ain't complaining about a few inches of snow. I'm too blessed. I'm trying to pay God back for blessing me. Amen. This is just a minor day. Uh, not even a minor day. It's just another day. I don't know how many February 19th I have left. So I'm not, I'm too blessed to be looking for a cancellation. I don't know who's coming. It don't matter. Thank God for who's here. How many of y'all owe oh God? Amen. If I can make it. I got a, a baby CJ coming at any time. Yeah. Amen. I was sharing with Ken. Talking to Ken today. I was sharing with him. I'm blessed. Like, man, just blessed. Uh -huh. and, and, and these days like this is when I tell God, thank you. Amen. If I can be there, thank you. I owe you. I don't have nothing without you. And I never want to serve you and be temperamental. I can only serve you when it's a perfect day. And yet, how many of y'all have still, have still been blessed no matter what the weather was? Amen. Huh? Amen. Has God blessed you in every season? Amen. Oh, come on, has he blessed you in every season? Is your son walking around Berkeley barefoot with no coat on? Or does he have a thousand dollar coat on and about to graduate in the Amen? He didn't skip over winners. Every winner. Amen. Look, before it was cold down there, you couldn't you was very couldn't even cold up. You got somebody to cuddle with now. It's winter time. Hey, thank God for the season. Thank God for the blessing. God, I owe you. Let's look what the scripture says. So, so personally, I'm like. People who are scared to drive, y'all stay home. Good. You, you holding up traffic anyway. <laughs> Crawling. That's why you cause accidents. 
No, they do. Man, man, oh man, come on, you had 10 months to get new tires. You had 10 months to get new tires. You know, these deep people have an attitude. I mean, deep people like that, get out of the way. That's what you pay for, for a wheel drive. You know, just, just, just get out of the way. Look what the Bible says. Some of y'all like, I don't know, you just own something. I sure am. Just bless people, man. Amen. Amen. If it's been one of y'all, we, we take it to the restaurant. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I went. I bought gave Erica two sweatshirts. So look at that. She she's already wearing it. Dang, Erica. Look, can, can you take it? I don't want to take it off. I understand, Erica. Amen. I understand. Look, look, look at this church burning up in here. Remember last year? We were freezing. Man, I, Amen. Amen. I ain't trying to complain about nothing. Job 37. Same people be complaining in, 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 in spring. It's raining again. Okay. Summertime, it's too hot. Come on, can God get some love? He's doing all kinds of stuff in the ground, doing all kinds of stuff that you can't see. Right. If you're Joseph, day is a blessing. It's an it's a agricultural blessing for all the moisture in the ground. Because that's what your seed is at. Amen. 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 I bet you wish this snow was money. Right. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. For some, yeah, it is. You shut, Lord, let, let my stuff. You don't want no dollar at a time. You want an accumulation, right? right. Yes. All right, all right. How you think about it. Show the scriptures. And I still got one for the virtuous one. Job 37. And look at verse, chapter, Job chapter 37. First verse? Yes. At this also my heart trembleth and is moved out of his place. Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. He that directed it under the whole heaven and his lightning unto the ends of the earth. After it a voice roareth. He thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not stay them when his voice is heard. God thundereth marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend. We cannot do what? Can't comprehend. Comprehend. Beyond comprehension what he's doing. Yes, sir. Okay. Verse 6. For he saith to the he, snow. He was talking to the snow. Mm -hmm. And he told us the snow is doing what we have trouble doing. The snow is being obedient. Yes, sir. He talked to the snow. And what did he say to the snow? Be thou on the earth. Be thou on the earth. Be thou in Omaha, Nebraska, Chicago, wherever it's falling. All right. So the snow is being obedient. So when you walk outside, you're walking outside into the obedience of nature. Mm -hmm. God has spoken. And the snow is not going to be disobedient because it causes you a problem. All of nature obeys God. Amen. Right? Yes. It's the obedience. So, so you go to, if you go to work tomorrow, which you try to, if your job didn't cancel, and they're looking for you. All right? And then all this snow. Now mess they day up. Because some people complain. You work with complaining about everything. Say so every, everything. That's just the snow being obedient. Then they're going to leave you alone. See, I know some of y'all ain't got like that. You barely got a job. You, <laughs> all right. For he said to the snow, be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. Chapter 38, that's when God got tired of Job running his mouth, he bawled him out. 38 and 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Did he just get Job told? Sure did. Uh, you, 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 you ain't got no knowledge. You got a lot of words with no knowledge. Verse 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man. Hey. 
<laughs> now look, God put up with this nonsense for 37 chapters. Right. Some of it is not Joe with his friends talking. God, like, I'm tired of this. Gird up, pull your drawers or pull your boxes up now. You say too much. All right. Wow, how, many, how many of us have said too much before? You said too much. And God hits you back up the way you thought it. God, I'm tired of waiting on you. God, I'm tired of waiting on you. Why haven't you blessed me? Why haven't you blessed me? Huh? <laughs> Woo, he'll talk back, but if you don't talk to you, you don't want him silent. Ain't nothing wrong with God getting your toe. He's talking to him. Yeah. You rather God talk to you than your flesh talk to you. Because your flesh talk to you, man, you're going to crash. That's the belly of your lust. You might be sugar free, but you ain't lust free. You got to always shut that inner voice down. That massive council X bookstore. Mm -hmm. Part of you. Of us. Read. For I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Some of y'all lost your halo in the snow. Man, your halo would burn the snow up. <laughs> if your luck got released, all the snow would melt. It'd be summertime. <laughs> hey, man, man, hey, man, all the streets, hey, all the streets was dry. Like, like what happened? The miracle? No, that person's luck got 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 let loose and burned everything up. All right. <laughs> Read. Where was thou? Uh oh, not not one location. <laughs> not one location out of Joe. Where were you, Joe? When I laid the foundations of the earth, the cleric thou hast understanding. I don't hear Joe saying nothing. Wow. Read. Who hath laid the measures thereof? Well, you are sick. If thou knowest, or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone Now we all know thereof. how God blessed Joe, but I think I would have got blessed before chapter 42. Out of the I said, Lord, can I speak? I need you to shut up. <laughs> okay. Yes. I already, you already got me six questions. I had to answer none of them. Right. And God don't keep talking. Amen. Anybody here remember ever repenting when you was complaining and murmuring? And God had to remind you between now. all that. He's been in business a long time. Yes, and sir. he never did give you what you deserve. Right. Amen. Yes. And, and you just show up and say, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, yes, Lord. What kind of religion do y'all have? Right. Have you ever told God you sorry? I need to yes. shut my mouth. Yes. Hey. Yes. Have you ever yes. found a blessing in being rejected? Yes, sir. Rejection is God's approval system. Amen. Right. The rejection blessed you. Okay. All right. All right. You can talk yourself out the sanctuary and run into something. Now, we got a daughter now. She just now recovering. She didn't see what she ran. Is she listening right now? I'm at that. She, she'll tell you. Cost her six years. She can't get back. Because that human will human weed, a spirit who flipped on her in a week. In a week, I don't want you. Good gracious. Six years of her life. Human weed. No matter what you post, whatever, God, like Nimrod, you, you can get on Facebook and brag about your what you build into the heaven all you want. One of your bricks going to piss me off. Keep that in the pocket. Because somebody build if I'm listening. One of your bricks mm -hmm. going to piss me off. Right. And I, I've already determined it ain't going all the way. Yes. Thank God for a word that was... Okay, so six... How old are you, Chaz? You ain't trying to be 38 working on something God ain't in. Because 38 means you're 24 months away from being 40. And when you turn 40, your whole mindset is different. Okay? Thank God for the word. Thank God that divine providence as of the day has struck my human will. Because you can talk you into anything. Amen. <laughs> 
I done ran red like to say, God, well, you know, you understand that I was like, no, come on, that just is illegal. Is your will? Get, uh, come on now. I'm trying to get to church. I can go to get up early. Get yourself laid out on Thursday. Take a long to get dressed. Lay yourself out on Thursday. For Sunday. Hey, man, you, can, you can talk yourself into anything. Mm, keep reading, man. My mom, read. When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of Hold God. On, really, brother, the man of God called the other pastor, the man of God, and tried to talk to him for six hours. He's in a relationship with a woman that was not, and the man said, I can't let it. Took that man of God six hours. And that other man, God, can quote certain scriptures, but had no scripture to get him out of his situation. In the will. Well, man, and that's, that's, it's better that, that you cry and get your heart broke because of expectation than for a human will to escort you to your demise. Oh, that sounded pretty. All right? A human will ain't no joke. Okay? That attachment, that bonding to something outside the will of God can mess your life up, mess your family up mess your dream. And it's the mercy of God to let you come back and start over. That's the mercy of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, wow. We are thankful to be in the house of God on a snowy day. Snowy, rainy, whatever. God, you protect us. <laughs> it's beyond comprehension what God has done. Amen. Wow. Hey, come lead a beat him now. You must have heard your ears burn. Amen. <laughs> said, I want to come and hear what he got to say. Don't tell me what he said. I want to hear it on my own. Amen. 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 Huh? The testimony. You don't care. Uh, what you're going to use is God bless you, get her son of the danger of human will. Look, she ain't mad at her. She's a grown woman. She not here like, I ain't mad. Right. I got my son. My son got blessed now. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come through surgery. I ain't mad. I come out in the snow. I, I don't care. Huh? That's, that's beyond comprehension. It's a blessing to come back. Watch it. Some of us left and never left. <laughs> okay. That's right. Right. Anytime you say here with a bad answer, you was gone. Right. Right. Huh? And that's just being honest. I, 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 look, 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 look. I'm going home. I sleep real well. I ain't offended if she was mad at me. I get mad at me, so just join me. <laughs> join me and get mad at me. <laughs> I get mad at me. Hey, man, so get comfortable shoes. Get jello. Jello. Jello with it, all right? But. Thank God that when you got snuck in the snow of your opinion, thank God whatever rocked you out. Amen. Whatever rocked you out, whatever dry spot you found, whatever which was bigger than you that pulled you out. Nothing smaller than you can pull you out of the snow. Right. You got to be something bigger than you with traction. Somebody thank God for the traction yeah. that pulled my mind out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of this night, okay? God, we in Job chapter 38. We're going to have a short night. Amen. We can go build a snowman. Please don't build no pornographic snowman. I told one of my daughters, I can't have you arrested in the snow. Oh, yeah. Uh, read. Hurry up, maybe. Read, 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 read. When the morning read, read, stars read. sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. So he getting him straight. Where were you? Mm -hmm. When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. I don't remember, I don't remember you being there, Joe. Read. Mm -hmm. Or well, who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth as if it had issued out of the womb? Is he getting them told? Real Read. good. Real good. When I made the cloud, the garment thereof, and thick, thick darkness, 
a swarmly pet, a band of it, and break up for a May decree place and set bars and doors. He said, break up for my decree place and set bars and doors. I set limitations on these things. Where were you? Verse 11. And said, hitherto shall thou come, but no further. And there, and here shall thy proud ways be stayed. You ever seen the ocean? I, if I, man, that ocean, I remember that Pacific Ocean, that sound, the reason why those homes cost so much, you got to pay to watch the glory of God all day. All right. Those homes cost a fortune. There's a reason why, and they all have glass front. You don't, because to hear that sound, and that God says, stop. And it stops. And it starts all over in the ocean. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Huh? I have a picture of my daughter in Barcelona to, to, or, or the Mediterranean to think that you can only see that, that on the other side of that is another country, the Mediterranean. Man, all y'all got is caught a lake. That's why you're ADHD. You got caught a lake. You got, you know, you got to go down to town and say, man, go see something. The glory of God. It's worth, amen, going to see the glory of God. But that ocean, that sound that it makes, and then for God to stop it, is just awesome. Oh, you just sit out there all day and tell God how wonderful he is. You can tell him how wonderful he is today in the snow. Amen. Amen. And nobody crash into you. Amen. Or you into somebody. Read. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days? And cause the day spring to know his place. We get bought out, y'all. Read. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. Wow, this whole religious class. I'm supposed to learn how somebody gonna love me. I'm on. What this got to do with me? Uh, uh, somewhere, if somebody do love you, you have to calm yourself down. How do you calm yourself down? The word of God. Huh? Y'all might be facing something as a couple. Don't think you're going to not face anything as a couple. Huh? And if you're not careful, you'll both be angry with God and get wiped out. So whoever has some sense, you put the word out and say, let's get the book of Job. Uh, we don't know what God's doing, but we're going to find a place uh, and praise him. We're going to rock and get him out this. So we, are, we are stuck in where we are. We are stuck in this mindset. We are stuck in poverty. Amen. I hope God don't let you get stuck tonight so you so the word will be raining for you. Huh? And you gotta go call somebody. Just, just, just make it out of class. Huh? We got a rock. We we are stuck. Honey, let's you're stuck in this job. That's a nothing job. Let's rock and get us out. We're gonna we're gonna give God some praise and get us out of this thing. Huh? We're going to find some salt in the word and put it down. We're going to find some sand. Or we're going to find something bigger than us and pull us out of this dilemma. Because we are stuck. Stuck in a mindset. Stuck in illness. Stuck in love. Stuck in fire. You can get stuck in your mind. Needing somebody to pull you out. If you've been stuck before and a tow truck passed you by, your heart sinks. Tonight the tow truck is not passing you by. It's time to get unstuck. Stuck, amen. On a snowy day. Huh? You can be stuck in the snow and the sun is shining. I want to get out of my mindset and get to praising God. And some of you are like, I want to be childlike. They canceled school already. Your child will want to get out there and play in the snow and get out there and create because of the accumulation and have fun and come back in and lay out. You in the house freezing. <laughs> Your child got the coat half off just a plank. Why? It's their mindset. Huh? You in there freezing, looking out the window, got a hot toddy, or you just drinking anyway because you want to be drunk. <laughs> you got the alcohol, that's what you cooking with it. And <laughs> I guess you be cooking tonight. Huh? And here's your child, you got the child, it's, it's a mindset. Your child all bundled up, put your gloves on your boots, they are, man, by the time they come in the coat half off. Oh. 
You get somebody that'll play in the snow with you. Let's take that walk in the snow. We ain't complaining. We happy. We gonna bond just like these snowflakes. We gonna accumulate just like these snowflakes. Huh? This is not a sad, is it, day? What are you talking about tonight? I'm talking about the different mindset. There's a reason why when we bless babies, that, that God tells us when you come as a child, a child will find a reason to be happy and rejoice. You can spike a child. He don't mad and, and, and let you beat him all the time. He don't say mad. Right, right. He bounces right back up. Amen. But in this kind of weather, if no school tomorrow, your child wants to play. You want to complain? Your child wants to play. Same condition. Okay? <laughs> Find somebody in a snowstorm who will praise God. You won't stay stuck long. Because if they can praise God in a snowstorm, think about what can happen when everything is beautiful. You don't want somebody who can only serve God, walk with God, be positive when everything is perfect. You're going to be miserable. You want somebody who's flexible with the seasons. But not a murmur and complainer. Now you say you're a virgin woman. I got a knockout scripture for you. Alright? Read. I'm going to set you up. Then we're going to go home so you can go complain. Has thou entered into the springs of the sea? Dang, Job. <laughs> or, has, or has thou walked in the search of the depth? <laughs> Have the gates of death been opened unto thee? That's when I would stop God. Like, I'm sorry. Amen. Uh, he ain't got no sense. God just God be talking for a couple of chapters now. Uh, about two more chapters, God still talking. Not for the rest of the Bible. He just he, Job getting bawled out, y'all. Good gracious. He gets bawled out all the way to chapter 42. Read. We ain't gonna read all that. Something like that. <laughs> or hast thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Has thou perceived the breath of the earth? Declare it if thou knowest it all. Now see, you're smart. You're like, God, see, you don't understand. Like that minister said, if Bishop Reeves passes me, you don't understand flow chart. Hey, God, balled out. Man, why you just next to me? Come on, sunshine. Why you got sit next to me? You don't ask a stupid question. Be on the other side of the table. I was biting my tongue. like, oh man, he about to get killed. Yeah. You're going to tell the man of God. Don't you see his crooked finger? That means he done hit somebody before. <laughs> but see that, but that finger that's bent? He already standing up. You, got, you only got four Oh, man. You only got four members. You're going to tell this man he don't understand flow chart. And you got to sit by me when you say it. Oh, boy. So I got to sit there and make sure I don't get no blood on my shirt. Right. You tell that man, what you say? That's what he talk. You tell that brother, I got some people, I got one of these. That's what he talk. Then he got numbers. <laughs> oh, God. I'm looking at my shirt, but here we go. We've already been here six hours. Now we'd like to have food trucked in. We're going to be here another three hours. He done done shit here, though. And I think he still got phone numbers. Read. Where is the way where light dwelleth? And as for darkness, where is the place thereof? That thou shouldest take it to the bond thereof, and thou shouldest know the path to the house thereof. Anybody get bought out by God? We're talking about a long time. I know where he literally... You were listening. He was telling you all that you had no business business Come complaining on about. Thank you. I, I Thank you God. He never bought you out? Yes, he did. He ever told you, you, you got to be kidding. Come on. After what I did for you, the way I raised you up off that hospital, do you really know how much trouble you Come were living in? Come on. He never talked to you like that? Yes, he has. Oh, wow. Go on with your bad self. Emphasis being on bad. Read. <laughs> <laughs> Knowest thou it because thou wast them born? <laughs> Woo. Read. Or because the number of thy days is great. Dang. Here, verse 22. Now you're going to talk about the snow. 
hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, ah, uh -oh. uh, somebody's brain working. Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Or how thou has or hast thou seen the treasures of the hell? Now we're trying to get our car fixed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the snow has treasures. Treasures. Huh? And I'll mess with y'all now. So if you came out in the snow, you came out in the treasures. Amen. Now how you want to play it? Amen, huh? All right. that, it's all, all it is, is, is how much word you can comprehend. If he said, he's, he's balling Job out, he ain't balling you out. He said there's treasures in the snow. So would it be in order for Star Young to come out, a couple from Bellevue, come up, two couples from Bellevue, to come out and say, God, what are the treasures in the snow? So if I come out in the snow, I have stepped out into the treasures of the snow. All right. Lord, I thank you for the treasures of the snow. Now, you didn't plan on getting paid when you walked out that door. Right. But I just told you, you're going to get paid because God can't lie. He doesn't have the ability to lie. There are some treasures in the snow. If the treasure of the snow, there got to be treasures for coming out in the snow. Amen. Somebody thought, man, somebody said, I ain't, I ain't never seen that scripture either. No. I'm just was thankful. Like, man, what I care about you in the snow? I'm coming out here because I, I right. oh God. For everything. But they're treasures of the snow. Okay? Are y'all following? Now, if you don't want them, don't, you don't want them. But I do. Alright? Now, let's get to Proverbs. I'm about done. What a blessing. You can wave this under God's nose, too. So glad Queenie came back. You didn't bring the secret Woo! back either, did you? <laughs> like, are you kidding are you? He's heartbroken. He may never. He may. He may take that little red blazer and hang it up on the wall. Now, don't Brian. Don't have no idea. He might take that great blazer. <laughs> Amen. Not you, Brian, the singer. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but look at look at your attitude. That's why you know something about to come your way. Look at your attitude. Look at your attitude. I wasn't there. I was there. I was there hoping you try on some Canada goose. But your attitude is, was, if this man can pick me out of a thousand people, right. surely my husband going to find me. That's right. That's, it's all, it's all, huh? Or you could have an attitude, quit playing with me, God. <laughs> or else you're all in the DM, always wanted a singer. <laughs> always wanted a singer. Always wanted a singer. Okay? <laughs> Instead of playing the way you played it, I know it ain't you. But God, He can find me, and He and you can't. God, you He can see me, He can point me out, and you can't. Huh? Good. I know my husband gonna find me because right. a stranger found me. Right. Amen. Right. 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 See? Back to what I said. Amen. 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 Your children see the snow, they want to play in it and create. You see the snow, you want to complain. Same scenario. Your scenario, how you perceive your scenario affects your mental health. Okay? She didn't come back to pray. If she is, she hiding it really nice tonight. No, she ain't here to Huh? Wouldn't it be crazy our Queenie, the one who does the envelope, she on his tour bus now, just gone. Ain't doing that. Yeah, just gone. <laughs> on his tour bus. <laughs> no. Ain't no way. No way. Thank you. And thank you for seeing me, but God been watching me, and I just use this amen to amen to let me know that if, if a stranger can find me, my husband can find me. Right. Mm. Same scenario, still by herself, but I have hope. I see God. God, thank you for reminding me. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Somebody's going to change class because they wasn't me. All right, all right, all right. Proverbs 31. I guess you got to fall in the snow for it to be you. Now, <laughs> now, now, Lord, I need. 
I need you to get back. <laughs> I know I ain't right. I, ain't right. I was caramelling the snow. I fell my heart. I thought somebody shot me. That's why you care. Why you laughing? Like you like what? It wasn't none of that. You know how you try to get your. It was like bam. I'm out. I thought I was bleeding, and I fell face first. So I woke up <laughs> looking for blood. I'm like, who shot me? <laughs> mail bag, mail everywhere. Now. <laughs> I'm looking for blood. <laughs> so I just, with my athletic ability, I know I just did fall. <laughs> I had to be shot. <laughs> I ain't seen Lisa laugh in about seven months. She over here dying. <laughs> oh, Lisa? I went like this. <laughs> no, I'm looking for blood, man. I'm mad. Ooh. <laughs> What's so funny, Karen? One of my daughters told me she spelled it. I wouldn't laugh at the phone. I wouldn't come to the phone up laughing. <laughs> uh, but I don't want that to happen before you get the revelation of the word. Now, Lord, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> lift me up, Lord. <laughs> I want to buy, I know it, man. Man, if you don't want the treasure of the snow, you get the lay down in the snow. <laughs> okay? Hey. I have a deeper appreciation of the power of God. All right. Amen. And I stayed down for a while too. I didn't jump back up. <laughs> when you fall that hard, you don't get up right away. Man, I eased up. <laughs> I'm still looking for the bullets. Biscuit <laughs> though. Man, man. Proverbs 31. I'm going to show you something about this one. Look at verse 10. Ah, uh, here we go again. Who can find a virtuous woman? Who Read can it. find a virtuous woman? Well, get mad that it's a, the king's mama the one talking about this. This is a woman talking. Read. For her price is far above rubies. A prudent wife, the Bible says a prudent wife comes from the Lord. That's, I didn't write that. So you're being taught that 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 I really want God to send someone to you because they're looking for you. You're a gift. A prudent wife comes from the Lord. That's Bible, right? Three. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. No need of spoil. The heart of her husband. But a man, write this down, this is old stuff, you have to capture his heart. Because he operates by sight, so he can see anything. Alright, he's going to see something smarter than you, built better than you, cuter than you, whatever. That don't mean he's going to jump on it when you have his heart. Okay? His heart. Safety does trust. So you never go into the vault. And pull out sensitive things. When you get with somebody, you're gonna find out really how sensitive men are. Period. You don't go in the vault. Okay. Mm. So there's certain pressures. That's what I'm saying. In, in data collection, there's certain pressures. It's how they function. What is their attitude under pressure? That's what you have to live with. Not sunny days, not good days. How do they function under pressure? And when he's under pressure, God, give me the insight. Download to me the words to say. So that I'll always be in his heart. You can't stop other women from approaching your husband. Never. You, it's going to get worse. It's like, what, 15 to 1 now? Blah, it's going to be worse than that. So you can't play those games. You can get on his phone and look through the pictures, all that. If you're in his heart, you're not in his heart. Um, but if you're in his heart, then... It's the words. That's how important words are. If you can't communicate, he already knows you're in trouble. You have to communicate. 
Give me the words to say that will secure my place in his heart. His important words are, oh, he's, oh, well, okay, oh, he's, he's messed up, he's acting crazy, whatever. What, what have you said or what didn't you say? Does that make sense? Why do we got to be about him? Okay, let's, let's go back to basic stuff. Satan got to the male what? Seed. Okay. We talking about a real man. We talking about an abusive man. We talking about somebody cussing you out. We ain't talking about somebody belittling you every day. That ain't no real man. We talking about somebody who literally loves you, who is trying to build a life, who's under pressure. There's a spirit trying to separate you. Lord, download. Let the angel download, like the angel downloaded to Joseph the languages. Uh, God ain't trying to give you five languages. You struggle with English. He's going to give you some words, English words to say. English words. Download. Okay. And have you flunking quizzes. Man, read. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Put up your butcher knife. You can't be married with a butcher knife under the pillow. I already broke one of those relationships up. The girl had a knife and I said, man, you better leave that girl alone. That wasn't funny. Read verse 13. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She ain't lazy. All right. It gets good. Read. She is like the merchant's ship. She bringeth her she didn't food. She was a merchant ship. Say she's like the merchant ship. All right. Know the difference. Read. She bringeth her food from far, from from afar. Not a mess to read or read. <laughs> she, rises, she rises also while it is yet night. While it is night, read. And give meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. So does that mean she don't let her husband fall asleep in the chair with the lights on the TV on without saying something? <laughs> that what that means? No. Uh, all right. <laughs> I guess I read. <laughs> she considered a field and by by it the, with the fruit of her hands she planted a vineyard. She plants a vineyard. She don't drink from the vineyard. She ain't no drunk, right? No. All right, verse 17. <laughs> she girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. <laughs> she girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. Why? Because prayer runs through. When she lays hands on them, she ain't hitting them. <laughs> prayer runs to rain alright so sometimes you don't know the word to say because you don't get the download of the English language what to say let the blessing be in your touch mm -hmm. now you're going to go grab him by the shirt collar that's not a, a sensitive touch you're going to snatch his shirt up alright it's the way you say honey now don't go honey <laughs> No, that don't work. If you're still out this food. No, no, no. It, it's your touch. Your touch is light. Right? Light some of your touches up, all right? Or you just don't take somebody's shoulder. <laughs> How you know your wife been praying for you? Look at my shoulder, man. <laughs> look, look. Oh, sure. oh you, must, you must have had prayer. Look at you. Shoulder got a, got a cast on because you're too heavy handed. <laughs> Come on, heavy-handed. So to say, man, you know you heavy-handed. Read. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Good merchandise, yes. Read. Her candle goeth not out by night. Her spirit don't go out by night. It gets dark. She ain't moody. Mm -hmm. Hateful. Nighttime. Candle doesn't go out. Uh-uh. We made it through another day. She got to step to 12.01. 12.01 said, you know what? That yesterday's over with. This is the day the Lord of made. We're going to rejoice and be glad. Now we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. It's 12.01, which means that day is over with. God has brought us through that day. We are not going to sit there and die in the nighttime. Over a day that is now over with. You got to learn how to talk that talk, right? I uh, had somebody who they're here tonight. They said, we, 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 this year, we're going for it. And I love to see husband and wife in the same. We're going to be a power couple. 
Like in text today. We want to, we're going to be a power couple. I'll tell you what that means. We're going to be on the same page. And we're going to tread through whatever the weather is. And we're going to get the maximum out of God. Amen. And we ain't letting nothing stop us. That's a whole nother mindset. It can't be one person on one accord. So go back to the two analogy because I'm trying to get it seared into your brain. Same snow. Shouldn't go out there and play. Same snow. You complain, shouldn't play. Make somebody childlike. Oh, it's snowing. Let's go out and build a snowman. Oh no, let's stay in the house and argue over bills and we ain't got the money. Huh? Let's sit there and throw stuff at each other. <laughs> huh? No, let's sit. Uh-uh, no, let's go out here and play. That's what a playful spirit. When I see you lose your playful spirit, like, man, why, man, I want to box with you. <laughs> Honey, it ain't nothing to do. Let's get them up. Get them up now. <laughs> it ain't nothing to do. Huh? Oh, really? I see Devin Washington. See, you, you gotta be careful. You got some thug in you. See, you, you better came over with a syringe, and that ain't fair. <laughs> if you get the loser, you're like, ugh. That ain't fair, all right? You gotta stay playful. Amen. We do a lot of laughing tricks. I gotta soften y'all up. We can't have no brick, brick, brick brawl in here. You gotta, you gotta stay juicy fruit soft. Amen. <laughs> No, we can't have brick bra up in here. You got to be soft and cuddly. Amen. That's the reason I don't care. I mean, this is just my man. That's the treasures of the soul. Same thing. Childlike. I'm tired. Huh? I always talk to Byron. Byron, they come out. They do a play all the time. Come in, come down here, hold in here. Get her no arm lock, no head lock, and all that. Playful. Amen. Watch this now. This is 10 year age difference, 12, 10? 12 years age difference. I'm saying, no, you don't care. Man, you booed up, man. You don't care. So he got to stay playful. Am I right? Right. right. If you get in the wheelchair, she got to pop a wheelie in it. Like, hey. <laughs> it ain't happening. All right. But, but no, no, no. You don't want nobody deep in thought. Playful. Now, hopefully, when you leave out here, hit it with a fury slam you before you got saved. <laughs> hit it with a soba. <laughs> you know she get on your nerves sometimes. Just go get a soba. <laughs> okay. I know I'm in the Holy Ghost. I told you she get on his nerve. <laughs> Key, man. Key, go on and get you a snowball, man. Nah. Huh? You gonna be obedient. <laughs> and then put on Facebook. I want to see snow all in her hair. I'm going to look like this. You better be running. <laughs> That's when we used to have water gun fight. Man, we had some vicious. I had to calm it down because they were busting on people in the church. We used to have crazy water gun fight. Drive-by one. We had drive-bys. We had people all in a trunk with balloons. That star is, man, that star. Water gun fight and kickball. Right. You see another creature. <laughs> that, oh, that's on purpose. Yeah. So you won't be evil. <laughs> I want to think about church seats. Keep hitting with that snowball. Huh? No, all that's on purpose. Amen. Now, yeah, but but it, it, and it's really beneficial when you're under pressure. I I don't snap on you, or you snap. You gotta have laughter, fun. 
Ah, ease the moment. Fart, break wind, do something. Ease the moment. Now if you do it all the time. That kill, that kill the whole that 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 that. that. You need to do something different. <laughs> got ease the moment, huh? You know why? You got to teach your children. You got to be under pressure and teach your children how to have fun. Okay? So, so watch this now. Here, my boy saved me because I ain't nobody teach me like this. All right? Everybody want to teach scripture to be deep and then crack up with pressure cups. That's the apostolic Pentecostal way. Quote scriptures that don't pertain to you. <laughs> and, and, it, and then when, when, you, when he comes your way, you don't melt it. I'm upset. I got problems. Thank God for children. Yes. So it's just three boys. So we playing. We ain't playing twenty one. They gotta play twenty one. We gotta get teams. I make it the fourth person. All right, Daddy, you coming down to play? Aren't you coming? Be right down. Hold on, come down. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's real. It's over. No, I'm not coming down. Did <laughs> you see I'm having a bad day? They be like, that's all right. It's <laughs> oh, <spirit. laughs> Huh? Now I'm trying to help somebody. Some of y'all going to get married this year. Now you're listening now. <laughs> May you catch a snowball meant for Lisa. <laughs> That'll be your stop. <laughs> Pow! Snowball in your head. So here's the key. Pressure. Ran out of money. He about to buckle. Y'all Y'all don't want to live to see a man buckle. Uh, yeah, you think you do. He don't buckle. Ready to quit. Just like a zombie, like you don't even know you had kids by that thing in the house. God, so kids run out. Remember, kids save their childhood. They shouldn't be around having a calculated night with a nightlight. Figuring <laughs> <laughs> deals out. <laughs> Your child three years old with a pistol behind his ear. Put <laughs> 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 your phone, put the iPhone on uh, 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 a light on and got a pencil behind it. Then we cut back on cornflakes. <laughs> now, now you done messed them up. Bad enough you got OBPG in their name. And they three. Oh. Oh. Stretched out in their diaper, laying out, figuring things out. <laughs> the child went outside and want to play. Now y'all mad at each other. Y'all go out there all us know the neighborhood of milk, because y'all on fire, y'all hot. <laughs> Run outside. Now, if you go outside and start a snowball fight, make sure ain't no rocking no snowball. <laughs> oh, dang. Because <laughs> they're going to figure that out when you start bleeding. <laughs> let's, let's start with making a snowman. you out there in the key. So when your kids see you playing, one time I saw the uh, Carlisle kids when they lived on Underwood. I was dealing with some old ignorant adult here. Just get them under. I'm driving down Underwood and I seen them playing basketball. I said, all of them, even the ones that stay, all of them. I said, man, forget those ninjas. I didn't say ninjas. <laughs> I pulled up in the driveway and those kids lit up. Just lit up. I didn't do that for them. I did that for me. Forget those crazy I could be having fun with these kids. And I still do that today when I do it in a different form. Because some people don't want me. <laughs> How do you stay youthful? You stay youthful by being around people who want to still be young. Amen. And that's how they approach. Huh? 
Uh, that laughter y'all hear in my office, that's not no track machine. So we down in there frowning. And we got a, a laugh machine on, trying to make it like we having fun. Nah, Ed, we having fun. If you can't take it, don't go in there. Because, man, uh, all subject, that's on purpose. Okay, that's flexibility. All right? Because the seriousness of life is going to catch up to you anyway. And sometimes it's stuff that you can't stop. Like, you be mad all day, it's going to snow six inches. It ain't going to snow. You mad or not? It's coming. All right? It's your mental approach. Okay? And you'll find out, as we, as we all find out who are grown, complaining don't help nothing. This makes you feel it. It wipes out your own medicine cabinet. So, children. So, me and Byron are sitting at the game. We watching the Wilsons, the Mitchells, in front of us. Look at that. Even across, because I'm still on the same side, because my son went to school there. They just be dancing, just playing. I don't know if y'all old enough to realize what you're building for the future. If sickness tries to find you, it's got to go through what you've already accepted. All right. Does that make sense? Amen. Sickness. And so you may you maintain it. Okay? And it's not faith. You maintain it. That that child don't know how to be faith. She comes from a real level of faith. She don't know how to be faith. That's just her. And for the people who used to sit there at the table when they all sit at the same table. Her mother almost broke down and started crying. That's all I wanted for my daughter. I want nobody mistreating my daughter. My daughter's happy. Man, that means everything to a parent. Amen. My child is happy. Somebody is taking care of my huh? As opposed to my child sad. Okay? You keep it by you keep you maintain that by having fun. Not 28 day fast. <laughs> that, that, that's a, just by having fun. Come and join a Daniel fast. You done cuss Daniel and everybody else out. <laughs> you ain't got no food. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I, kill, I kill all the little spiritual things. People think mean something, they don't. You both want to fast. And y'all mad and evil and all the handles off, all the refrigerator, the cabinets all over. Came back, now you got Dixie cups, all the glasses broke. And y'all fasted. Yeah. Nonsense. Have some fun. Lisa, between now and time I just meet you, how to duck, baby. That's all I got to say. Breathe. He's going to be obedient. She laid her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the, the staff. She stretched it on her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to, to the needy. Uh oh, uh oh, we about to land here. She is not afraid of the snow. <gasps> yeah, Lisa ain't afraid of the snow. <laughs> she is not afraid. No. Now watch somebody try to say, I'm not afraid. <laughs> And fall. <laughs> why, why the fuck my name is Bishop said? I didn't say that. That's the Bible. I didn't say that. I had to find it. She is not a afraid <laughs> of the snow. Okay. Now, see, you got an incline, you got to watch how you approach it. <laughs> You gotta do this. You gotta come sideways. <laughs> huh? You gotta come sideways. They look around coming sideways. Act like you do a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> or you end up <laughs> crash. All in there. Okay? She is not afraid of the snow. No. Hmm. Look at all the virtuous women ain't got nothing to say. Right? Complaining, mad. I wish we lived in Florida. No. Okay, in the storm season, what you wish? Okay. This man, 
place plan provision. Read. She's not afraid of the snow for her. For all her household. Her household. Read. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She said, "This this is a this is a happy chick. The weather don't move her. She's too busy being that woman. I got too many things I'm optimistic about. Some of y'all underestimate depression." Especially, if one out of five people have mental health problems, especially this time of the season. Okay? How many of y'all normally feel better when the sun shines? Everybody does. When the sun is shining, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so then when it's like this, you got to create. All right? A joy. You have to have, really have to have a system. And y'all laugh at me. Y'all think I'm weird because I celebrated February the 15th because I've been 63 for a month. I ain't stacking you know. We, we good. But I have a system. My system is tight in your boring city that I have to fill in time blocks. I can go to uh, Barnes and Noble. The manager sees me. What does he call me? Ron. I forgot what name I gave him. Anyway, whatever that name is. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this. I go up to the counter. The girls say, two brownies heated with a fork. That's right. Sometimes it's six dollars and two cents. That's what I pay for my brownies. Six dollars and two cents. Sometimes I don't have two cents. The white girl goes and gets it. The black girl makes me give me nine. <laughs> 98 cents back in the Now, I, I just said that. The white girl files a fine two pennies to somebody. The black girl, I get 98 cents back. <laughs> I'm waiting for her to read because you know you got a little penny cup. She ain't looked at it. See? She counts it out three quarters. Two dimes. But now, I, now I got my two cents. <laughs> then I read. I got my. That's my reading. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You know. You can't count that by coming here just mad. Somebody, you know, under pressure. That's on purpose. Okay. And I how we and we holler because we we it's an echo in there. Only two people in there. To be hollow, like, huh, huh? Sometimes to be hollow, I ain't even there. I left. I don't I'll be right. Okay. But my point is, joy is treasure. We treasure joy and happiness. That's for your own good. Believe it or not, you're going to get older. Don't do yourself an a, a injustice uh, by wiping out your medicine cabinet because you don't have a system for your own soul to do. And when I say system, I didn't mention her name at all. Unless we're in the house, right? That's Thursday, Friday, whatever. Okay. You just don't mess up my day. You got to creep up on me. You ain't in pencil. And, and, and even then, you in pencil. You ain't in pen. Pencil needs to be erased, right? Okay. That's how I treasure ev every day, people. Ask anybody who knows. Every day. Go to my restaurant, man. Every day, I got an older couple. We thought we thought we missed you. Sit down, and this other lady. I sit on the window because I gotta watch my car and make sure I get on door day, right? I sit at the same table. Got a little crew. They gonna be there in the morning in the snow, right? Just take same couple. They eat up every morning, just like me. So I'm leaving today, and this other lady, she over there by the cash register. She strikes up a conversation. Why? Because I'm friendly. They don't wait on me. I walk in. I grab my own silverware. They got the little orange lollipop. Like I got about four of them. I know, I know they are for the kids, but that's why I get them. <laughs> I got about four of them. Orange. That's my sister. Grab my own silverware. Hi, William. They, I, they know me as William. Man. Wait, hi. Put my order in. So I'm leaving today. This lady. I, she strikes over the conversation time. Yes, yes. Now, the one lady at the, at the store, 
You didn't speak this morning. Because she's been counting my fur coats. So she ain't seen this one. So this one took her good morning. I could mess up for a long time, but I'm, you know, I thought, I got it. So she tried to look past me. I look past me like, you know, oh, I want some paper. Because I have fun with them. Because <laughs> it's fun, right? This other lady, I passed by her. I don't know her like that. What she said? She said, what did you drive today? I said, oh, it's, I'm not offended. They probably ain't seen no happy black man their whole life. <laughs> Black men, they all be scared, but all they could be ducking. <laughs> Here he is, that he's mad. <laughs> I'm not mad. No. I'm happy I ain't had a headache all day. Amen. That's good. I'm, I am happy. I don't care about no snow. I got happy covered in the morning. Let it be six, eight, ten. So what? Okay. Wow. Because I got a grandson about to show up at any time. Amen. And I want to be able to play with him. Huh? Are you hearing me? Now what about you? That's why we don't have church. Y'all wouldn't come no way. That's why we don't have church every day. Uh, like you used to. See, like you almost spoke in tongues. She grew up like that. No, I'm, am, am I right? Except what? Well, Thursday. No, I was power person, so you can still here. See, she still got attitude. She's still mad about that. <laughs> no, no, she's the plant, plant our backyard with Raphael. She's mad. She's still mad. That's about how I haven't gotten over stuff. Well, there you go. There's two of us in here. Three. Oh, no, now you mad. All right, well. No, 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 no. After tomorrow, you know, if it's too bad, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, it got to be a whole lot of stuff for me not to be here tomorrow. But you do you. Do you. I'm thankful. I'm just, do you. I got three, four wheel drive. What I care. Hmm. Got, got to be a whole bunch of snow. I doubt it. All right? I'm talking about me. And I ain't hurt. I owe God. I see, I, I got some stuff I want. If, if that umbilical cord is wrapped around that baby's neck, I want to tell God, get that thing off around his neck. Amen. See, everything I do, I do for a reason. Just in case I got something that, that mm, I want to be Abraham and say, God, you think about what you're about to do. Amen. Because I'm involved. I think that's why Darnetta's mother's still living. Because of Darnetta. Amen. See, I try to position myself. So if something come up, See, y'all don't read the Bible, but you can change God's mind. God, don't you do that. Amen. Don't do that. God, no, don't do that. No, no. And no movie, not power, not none of that stuff. Amen. Am I going to be able to call on? Man, I, mean, I get an iffy situation. So I'm just throwing, because I know it's coming. I'm throwing up for an iffy situation. So that's just me. Amen. When you get down to counting summers, and that's what all of us are doing. You say more so me, but you are too. Okay? Mm -hmm. That every day is precious. That's all about Hebrew. According to the Bible, today was a, according to Hebrew, not Bible, today was a lifetime. Amen. Yeah. So when that couple of technicians said we're going to be a power couple, they're saying we're going to put together a series of lifetimes in one lifetime. Oh, that's pretty stuff. A series of lifetimes to the point where it becomes a visual thing where it's tension and pressure and y'all look at each other and go, uh-uh, oh no, it's playtime now. 
we say we ain't letting nothing separate us from the love of God. Amen. And the fact that we got each other at any time, we can touch and agree and get some things done. Somebody thank God for that. Amen. That, that's a whole nother level of securing internal joy. Now the other side of that is you flat on your back and you wishing for days like today. Dull days. Ain't no dull such thing as a dull day. How many of y'all got books y'all y'all don't read? How many got books y'all have? I got book. I got stuff I need to do. I got books I ain't read. I just got stuff, man. Amen. I'm looking forward to waking up in the morning. Does that make sense? Right, you're gonna fool around and be so sad and have a stroke and won't nobody even know it. 